called a gene gun, then blasts the DNA from the foreign organism into the host organism. You use tiny little pellets, uh, about 1 30th the size of an actual cell. Uh, you coat that pellet, which is actually made of gold, uh, with DNA. You shoot it at a very high speed, about 600 miles per hour, down a chamber. Uh, and at the bottom of the chamber is our plant cells. And those little tiny beads go inside of the plant cells and end up inside and become incorporated into the DNA of the plant cell. The gene gun also injects a genetic promoter, which makes sure the new gene is permanently switched on. And there you have it, a genetically modified organism. For critics, the promoter is just one of GE's problems. The promoter turns on the inserted gene permanently, but we now know that it can potentially turn on other genes inside the DNA permanently which can create all sorts of things, allergies, toxins, new diseases, carcinogens, anti-nutrients, or things good. We don't know what will happen if we change the DNA of our own organisms or of our gut bacteria.